Hello everyone and great to watching this new video on Tintin Studios. And in this video I'm again going to do a tutorial like you could see at the title and this time it will be about Shift. I think Shift is a very sneaky gun. Because you have a kind of scope and you're sniping your uh, enemies and most times they won't even see you and they also won't uh, see it coming and then chuck you're dead uh, but it is very important that you have a good uh, hiding place so because when you're reloading or when you're sniping that there won't come fr somebody from the other side so now we're going to build this sneaky sniper I again divided it in some parts, this time three parts. The barrel. The um, part out of the middle. The first part actually, but I do it now at last. It's just the base part, like I call it. So we'll start with this part. This is all you need for it. We will first start with two of those uh, two times four plates, like I call it, and we are going to attach them to each other by using a two times three plate and just put it just over there and then over there, like this. Then we will take uh, two four times one plates, and the color difference uh, difference is a little bit, but that's because of the paint. You can also see that uh, this uh, Viking it's not all uh, perfectly red, but that's just the paint, the color. So um, one I'll put over here, and the other side, uh, the other one at the other side, like this. So only uh, there are two little uh, dots over here, three. Then we'll take two of this uh, red blocks. Just the same. I uh, make do them in grey because it's like the armor on the shaft because it's also an M3. I put it over here. And at the other side, again, over there. The last thing is this very little uh, block. And you put it under the shaft at the front. Over here. In the middle, so you can attach it to a hull. For example, to a viking. So that was already the first part. So let's move on to the second part. This is all you need for the second part. First, we take this brown 4x2 plate. And uh, it's again with the color, it's just paint, it's not perfectly red. And I also like this paint much more. I don't know the name of the paint anymore, but I will put it in the description below. So if you really want to know which paint it is, then you can just check the description. But just take this uh, 2x4 plate. Then you have to uh, take another plate, this time it will be a 4x2 red plate. And put the red plate over there on the brown one. Then you take a 2x2 plate in grey. Put it just under over there. Then we take a 2 times 1 plate in grey and put it over here on the top. Now we take this 2 times 2 plate uh, flat plate in red and put it, uh, I mean the one in grey, 2 times 2 plate in grey and put it over here. And 
And then we take this three times two red plate. And we take two of uh, those two times one uh, plates. We put those ones over there and over there. Like this. And then we attach it to this, uh, what we already made, like this. Now we take this 2 times 2 red plate and put it completely at the back, just behind the, the grey ones over there. And at last we take this. 1 times 4 plate and we put it under over there. And that was the second part already. So let's move on to the third part. This is the third and last part. It isn't very hard. This is all you need for it. It's not very much. Uh, we just take first the plate, the two times four plate, great plate, and we put this uh, two times one block with a hole in it, which also is very important because we need to uh, plug in the barrel. So we put this one at the third, one, two, three, of left, then we take, uh, we're going to make the barrel, so we first take this thing. It's first a uh, uh, round over here, and then it ends into an opening where you can put in such like cross sticks. So we put that one in here in the hole, like this. Just one uh, time, not not further, because then it will stick out over there. Just like this. Then we will take this stick and we will take a, um, a kind of yeah kind of piece of the barrel uh, which you can put around the stick but it's very easy you can move it still and then we take a red one it's uh, this one is very stiff you can put it on the stick so it won't move. Like this. I think you know these parts if you have Lego Technic at home. And why I make this uh, barrel like this? It's because a shaft has is quite hard and it has quite a weird barrel. It's like thicker over here, so that's why I do it like this. And then we take this part again and just plug this one and just put it in over here. And uh, don't let this one come out over there. Like this. Then uh, the last thing is just to add the parts together. So you take part 1 and part 2 and uh, just uh, put part 1 just like this uh, plate is behind these things. Like this and it will fit exactly. Then you take part 3, this part the barrel and put it just like this, under there, like this, and then your shaft is finished. So that's the shaft, you can uh, with this thing under you can just attach it to for example this viking. And then that's your shaft. M3 shaft. Thumbs up if you like it, just push the, the like button under this video. 
En uh, zo like deze video. En dan I will see you in another video. En subscribe for more of these videos. En also put in the comments what you want me to make or to show you or make a tutorial on. I can also try to make for example a tutorial on Viking, but it's a bit hard because it consists of a lot of parts. So I'll see you in the next video.